Around election time, political symbols are everywhere. Even campaigns are designed around symbols rather than party names. That's because when it comes down to actually picking a representative, it's the symbol you see on the ballot. This was necessary when most of India was illiterate, but now it's just outdated. For example, national parties can keep their symbols permanently, but regional parties can only reserve their symbol if they get enough votes. To make sure there are no overlaps, smaller parties and independents are allotted symbols by the commission from a list of free symbols. That's why the Akhil Bharatiya Kalyan Party from UP contests with a frock, Uttarakhand's Apni Zindagi Apna Dal contested with a cauliflower, and the Democratic Swaraj Party had to contest with a rather gruesome saw. Yup, not exactly awe-inspiring symbols. Use of these free symbols also causes confusion. In 2014, AAP had to convince the Election Commission to change the design of the free battery torch symbol to avoid losing votes to a symbol so close to its own. If a political party breaks up, one unit retains the original symbol while the other is forced to use a new one. Because of course, they can't contest with the same symbol. But since the confusion costs parties thousands of loyalty votes, no wonder these two buried their differences just before the elections. But there's a loophole. It's okay to use the same symbol in different constituencies. Samajwadi Party cycle is also the symbol for the Telugu Desam Party, and the Rising Sun symbol is used by three different parties across India. During the Kerala elections, AIA DMK had to change its leaves to a hat so they wouldn't clash with the Kerala Congress M's leaves. Could this have cost them some votes? Definitely. The allotment of political party symbols is so random. No wonder the election commission is being bombarded to remove them from the ballot. What do you think? Do we need better guidelines to regulate these symbols? Or should we just get rid of them entirely? Tell us in the comments below. Did you know that all election days are also dry days? Here's a video explaining why. Like and subscribe to the WTD News YouTube channel.